Good morning, this is Mr. Willie in West Virginia. Uh, this morning I woke up a little cold and I, I didn't hear my furnace uh, running. So I got up and checked the thermostat and I got 45 degrees in the home, in the house. And the uh, furnace is not running. So I went down, checked all the breakers, pulled the doors on the furnace, uh, tried to troubleshoot a little bit and I just couldn't figure it out. So um, what do you do? when it's the second day of the year and you have no heat and it's minus three outside and uh, you've got a family. Um, I did what I always do. I got down on my face and I began to seek God's kingdom to get some wisdom, to get some instructions on what to do because uh, Although I worked for a gas company for 23 years, we never worked on furnaces. We never worked on appliances. I could probably help somebody with a hot water tank, but uh, furnaces were out of our pay grade. So I called, texted a friend who is very, very knowledgeable on just about anything, and uh, he was working, and uh, prayed some more and decided to call and text another friend, see if he was busy. And he started giving me instructions on what to do, and I started looking through the furnace and uh, finding out what I could for him. And finally he said, you want me to come and take a look at it? And I thought, well, that would be great, because I really didn't know what I was doing. Which gets to my point. A lot of life's curveballs, a lot of the things that come at us, are not things that we're equipped to take care of. And that's by design. I think that God allows things to happen so that we have to depend on him, so that we have to come to him and, and ask him. And, and you can still fret and worry and, and, and cry and moan and groan and get on Facebook and, and rant and rave to everybody about what's going wrong in your life. Or you can seek the kingdom. He says to seek his kingdom and his righteousness first. And then everything else will be added to you. I have no doubt in my mind that my furnace is going to get fixed, that my heat's going to be restored. And uh, I've got a neighbor down the road that's already offered us her house uh, to stay at if it doesn't. But I'm not worried. I'm not dismayed. I'm not depressed. I'm not thinking, crap, this year's starting off great. No. This is life on planet Earth. And if you live in a place like this, um, these things happen. Uh, unfortunately, this summer my my furnace fan went out and we had we had no air conditioning. Thank God my daughters were all gone on vacation, so I was able to get uh, the same guy to come and he took a look at it, put a new fan on my furnace, and and we were back in business. Um, worrying, ranting and raving, getting all excited. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? None of that works. I I tend to kind of try and. Be quiet because God's word says to be still and know that he is God. So I quiet myself and I quiet the fears. And quite honestly, I can remember having some dreams last night. And, and I want to I want to I want to tell you guys something. OK, God and the devil are not fighting. And you don't have to fight the devil because he's a fallen angel. Scripture teaches me that he's already under my feet. So I don't get up trying to fight him and I don't worry about him ever beating God because God is sovereign. He is the king of everything. So I rely on him because he's got the dominion. He's got the royal right to everything. Seek his kingdom and his righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. I pray this is a blessing to you. Shalom. Pray that the heat gets on soon. Thank you. Peace.